what you think. Do you think that? Do you ever listen to the song for the first time ever? Or do you just listen to it like six or three times? Yeah. I know. Oh no. Camera battery's getting low. <sighs> okay. Battery's getting low. But with all that said, today, let's see, let's see. Today is a Wednesday. It's a beautiful day. The next five, six days are gonna be absolutely gorgeous in my area. So today, um, I think we're gonna be make, we're gonna be making a lot of content today for my personal brand and my business. That's the goal, and also a few looms. So a loom basically is a screen recording website. You get to record your laptop screen, and then you can like talk over it, like do a voiceover, or you can do like a video voiceover, and you can send a link to whoever. So I'm sending these looms to businesses, just doing a quick four or five minute video. Um, sending, you know, I'm, I'm just giving them, giving them a few tips on the website and there's Facebook. That's it. I'm also debating if I want to do a Facebook ad today, uh, targeting small business owners or I'll th maybe think of an, a certain niche that I want to target and just kind of get that ad out there because that's another way to gain a lot of traction and actually target people or target warm leads basically. So it's all about the getting. It's all about getting the warm lead, warm leads. You know, I, I freaking hate cold calling with a passion because uh, I, I suck at it personally. Um, I'll, I'll be in the market for a salesperson in the in the near future for sure, and they can do the cold calls for me because I want to focus on my strengths, and my strengths are you know managing the social medias and meeting with these people, not cold calling them. That's for someone else. That's someone else's job on for my future team um, I just want to ha handle the day-to-day -day stuff once I get to that point where I have to worry about that but in the meantime we're gonna focus on today we're focusing on Wednesday May 20th May 20th uh, so yeah that's the game plan so right now I'm about to give you guys a behind-the-scenes look at me doing a video for LinkedIn and Instagram this one's basically going to be saying, ignore the views, ignore the likes, ignore the followers, and just focus on putting out what you want to put out, basically. So that's the premise of it. Let's go. So I never thought my personal Instagram to be a platform for this type of video, but here we are. So my generation is one of those generations that solely focuses on how many likes, followers, video views they get. And that's super unhealthy. Like, that brings, like, I've been in a situation where it just brings so much social anxiety. Like, you're thinking about posting a picture to Instagram, and you're like, oh, is this going to get, like, that? Is this going to get a lot of likes? Like, what if it doesn't get as many likes as I'm used to? Like, that is just such an unhealthy mindset that it, it's, to be honest, it's super hard to get yourself out of that mindset where you don't care about how many likes you get, you don't care about how many followers you have, you don't care about how many video video views you get, and you solely just focus on posting what you want to post, posting what makes you happy. Once you can get to that point, after all that effort and hard work they put into changing your mindset to not giving up, to not giving a, a shit about what people think of you, then oh, shit. This is behind the scenes right here. It's just, you know, this is all on the, the fly, top of the head. So once you get to the point of complete happiness um, with what you post and not caring what other people think of you, that's when that's when that's when you're gonna win. That's when you're gonna be. That's when you're gonna start posting more and just feel more comfortable in your own shoes. And that's ultimately ultimately where you want to go. Stop posting for the likes. Start posting for what you want to post. You guys are going to get a ton of raw content on this, just like you saw with me doing, me recording a video. I am not perfect on every single video. I have to do some takes. I don't do too many takes. I kind of wing it. When I start the video, as you saw, I just kind of wing it. I don't have a script or anything. A script would help. Definitely would help. I'll, that's something I've been thinking about, actually, having like a little outline of what I want to say instead of completely winging it. Instead of completely winging it, because winging it, 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 it can it can be tough. It can be confusing. There's a lot more ums and ahs and pauses. Uh, so a script would definitely be helpful for me. And if you want to do videos, if you want to make videos, a script may be helpful. I might, I think I'm gonna start doing 
a little outline for my YouTube channel, just so I have a basis of what, is, of what I want to say in every uh, segment, which will make it easier for me. There would be less pauses in when I'm, there would be less pauses when I'm talking and it would just feel, it would just uh, be more clear to the audience and make more sense, which is the big thing. So, but anyway, there's gonna be a lot of raw content in this uh, series. So I hope you guys are ready for that. I know I'm ready for that. I'm grinding right now. <sighs> Sending cold messages on Facebook. Just trying to think of what to say for this one. Trying to craft these things, these messages is, it's pretty, um, it's pretty hard because you're not sure if you want to reveal too much or too little. Uh, so you just got to keep it quick and simple. That's the big thing. That would be of any interest. Ooh, that's why you always proofread. Yikes. Yikes. Sent. No regrets. Who cares if I get rejected? We move on. And if they don't respond, they don't respond. And then we follow up. We follow up again. So that's what you got to do. So I think I just found the secret to cold emailing. And I'm super excited. Uh, I don't want to tell you guys now, right now, because I want to see if it actually like gets me some better traction. Because I think there's definitely potential. 100% potential. Holy shit. Look at these boxes. These are literally the Shaquille O'Neal's of the box world. Oh my God. Oh, that explains it. Chairs, some nice chairs. So I just gotta head to the mailbox real quick and drop off these thanks, thank yous because I am such a good grandson and nephew. If you're watching this, do your thank you cards, okay? Massively, massively important. But with that said, I'm gonna finish off this video. Thank you guys for watching episode two of From the Ground Up building my business, long way to go, but we're making progress and that's all we can ask for. So, with all that said, thank you for watching. What? Thank you for watching. I'm gonna walk myself to the mailbox on this absolutely gorgeous day right now. And I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.